heartbreaking. You'll never eat at America's most favorite restaurant again. Disgusting. It's common knowledge that when you put good in, you get good out. That's true on many levels, but none so literal as with what we put in our bodies. We were designed to survive and thrive off of what the earth provides for us. But the production of those life-giving substances has turned into such a finely tuned machine that prioritizes profit and taste, that we've lost a lot of what was good for us along the way. One of the biggest steps backward for the health of the Western world was the introduction of GMO foods or any food that is genetically modified in order to live even with poisons sprayed on them. The purpose of this is to keep the food growing when the plants are sprayed for bugs, weeds etc. Unfortunately, that means that things like Roundup are actually being put into our foods so that they'll be immune to being sprayed with it. As you can imagine, that's not great for your system. McDonald's Corporation is the largest dealer of GMOs, according to your newswire, and according to recent reports, the Golden Arches have been seeing less green pass to them because of this information. The national awareness that GMOs could be contributing to the bad health of this generation is finally affecting the fast food superstar's bottom line. In fact, what is being served by the once beloved clown and his co workers is hardly even being regarded as food anymore. McDonald's recently launched a PR campaign called Our Food, Your Questions to Reassure Customers That Their Franken Foods Are Safe for Human Consumption. Unfortunately for McDonald's, their campaign backfired spectacularly. While the company still denies they use pink slime in their burgers, they were forced to admit using some highly questionable ingredients that would be more at home in a science experiment than on the dinner plate of a growing child. During the Our Food, your Questions campaign, McDonald's admitted to using the chemical additive azotic carbonamide in their burger buns, which is the exact same substance found in yoga mats. Naturally, the world's leading frankenfoods dealer insisted that adding rubber to food is quite safe. According to McDonald's, there are varied uses for azotic carbonamide, including in some non-food products, such as yoga mats. As a result, some people have suggested our food contains rubber or plastic, or that the ingredient is unsafe. Think of salt, the salt you use in your food at home is a variation of the salt you may use to de-ice your sidewalk. The same is true of Ada, it can be used in different ways. I guess that was supposed to make us feel better, but there really is a slight flaw in that logic. Just because food products can be used in an industrial capacity doesn't mean that industrial products should be used in a food type capacity. You want to salt the front steps with more than salt, fine, just don't put a yoga mat in my rock salt grinder as one being okay doesn't make the other okay. These revelations are having far-reaching impacts on the take-home pay for the corroboration. AP reports that stores are closing nationwide, and profit margins are slimming down, unlike the waistlines of those who eat their food. According to an Associated Press review of the corporation's regulatory filings, McDonald's closed over 700 stores last year and suffered an 11% decrease in revenue and 30% drop in profit. For corporations the size of McDonald's, operating on slim profit margins, falls in profit of 2 to 3% can have enormous ramifications. 30%? We are talking irreversible terminal decline, according to industry experts. But maybe you think that there's to be some margin for error. Maybe the oddly shaped and pressed meat products should be a red flag, but we can stick with the pure, natural, one ingredient foods like french fries. We can all make french fries, it's just potatoes, salt, and frying oil. Maybe that's how you make french fries, but that's not how Mickey D's makes them. French fries are actually comprised of 19 shocking ingredients. The staple side dish is basically a laboratory experiment in creating an item that looks and tastes like a potato product but is actually a chemically engineered concoction of GMOs, trans fats, chemical stabilizers, preservatives, wheat, milk, and beef derivatives, as well as poisonous additives derived from petroleum and silicone. Future generations will look back at McDonald's with horror. They will be astonished that the multinational corporation was allowed by the FDA to perform what is essentially a sick and twisted science experiment on the world's population, damaging the health of millions of unsuspecting people in the process.
McDonald's aimed their advertising squarely at children and adolescents, trying to hook them on their chemical-laden addictive products while they are young and vulnerable, and all in the name of profit over all else. May we learn the error of our ways sooner rather than later and save our collective health while we still can. The honest truth is that you'd probably be better off to eat cane sugar out of the bag standing over the sink than to feel happy eating a happy meal. McDonald's had its time, and that is now past. Make the decision that is best for your health and drive past the drive through and onto the farmer's market, or even the meat market, or anywhere that doesn't serve GMOs and slime. Slime.